32. Now that we've completely prepared our frame for gilding, um, we're ready to lay the leaf. And I'm going to introduce you to the tools that we're going to use in laying the gold leaf. So first of all, we've got our gilding water, which we mixed earlier, and we've got a selection of watercolour type brushes, sable or sable mix brushes. We've then got some gold, and what we're going to actually use today is almost pure. It's 23 and a half carat gold leaf, and there is a leaf. Now notice how you know, I'm careful, moving really slowly with it, because it'll blow around in the slightest bit of wind, and um, you can't touch it with your hands. Um, it'll just stick to your fingers. I've got some other leaves here. We can water gild with various types of leaf, but they have to be loose leaf. That's um, as opposed to transfer leaf, which is stuck to a paper backing. Um, but this is some white gold here which is about 12 carats, um, so it's about 12 parts in 24 of gold, and it's got nickel and some other stuff in it, and gives you a nice bright silver type finish. And this is actual silver leaf, which is subtly different in the finish it gives, and tarnishes quite easy, which we can use, we can actually artificially tarnish it and get some beautiful finishes with the silver as well. But different types of leaves there. And here, there's an old book that I finished with. Now, you'll notice that these paper leaves, which interleave, um, I go between the, the leaf, the gold leaves, the red colour comes from something called rosin which they're covered with and the rosin is a very fine powder um, which stops them sticking to the paper or to anything else. Now make sure that when you finish with some books you keep a few old books because we can use these bits of paper to rub the rosin onto other things to stop the gold sticking to them as you'll see. This is our gilder's cushion sometimes called a pad and it's a goatskin um, covering over a, over a cushion and we use this to prepare and cut the leaf. It has this parchment backing to stop the wind blowing the gold around which never behaves itself and stays where you want it to so I suggest you make something like my little bit of cardboard here and just make something that fits in the back there and keeps the, the windshield up where you want it. This is our Gilder's knife, which is a specialist stainless steel knife, very straight, flat blade, um, obviously used in conjunction with the cushion. And I've got some Vaseline here, which I use to grease the tips, which is the next bit we'll come on to. Um, and these are our tips, our Gilder's tips. That's a whole one there. Um, and it's made from squirrel hair and very fine row of squirrel hair exactly the same length we use that to pick up the gold as I said that's a whole one but here I've got some that I've cut up a whole one into smaller bits for smaller tasks for more delicate tasks and I've just wrapped the ends with tape to, to make sure they stay together this is called a quill you can see because it's got a quill on there. Um, small brush we use sometimes for just tamping little bits of leaf into place. And also for the same sort of task, uh, this is standard supermarket cotton wool. Um, and I've got a few balls of, of that that I've just scrunched into balls the size of a ping pong ball there. Um, and that's our tools. <laughs>